what's going on? Today on my CNC bed, I have a Cathedral Arches. They're kind of mini size. They're not your big cathedral windows, which I am very soon going to be cutting those because I want some for my own home. Um, but I'm loving these. I have a really cute idea and I want to show you how I'm going to put them together. But right now they just finished cutting. So I thought that I would show you a little bit of what that process looks like for me taking them off the bed and then work, walking you through that process. So these are the little pieces that just came out. They actually have a double-sided tape on the back. So when they cut out the, um, it actually sticks to it so that way when the router bit goes around it and around it around it it doesn't chip out um and it's not flying around so that double-sided tape is just a little cnc hack if you're interested more about learning about that let me know in the comments and i'll definitely do a video on it but for now let me show you how i get this out of the off the cnc bed so absolutely these things are so res um so fun to pick up and take off and getting a lot of sawdust or a lot of chips, as we like to say. Um, we don't really want dust because dust is bad. So you want to get really um, good chips. Anyway, so I'm pulling these out. This is so satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's get these out of here. I love pulling these out. Okay, how fun is that? Aren't those beautiful? All right, so this one actually has a little bit of tape on the back side of it. So you can see all of that tape. And I'm just gonna grab the edge of it and pull that off. This is actually made with a pine wood. So I'm move all these guys out of the road. Where are my gloves? So, I'm just going to rub all of this extra sawdust off. Here is one of the arches. And I will tell you, I made a humongous bonehead moment. When I was cutting this out, I actually cut the profile all the way out around. That's not something that you want to do. You actually want to cut out the centers first because then you have the structure of the piece of wood keeping the router from going back and forth. So when I was standing here on this 15 um, or 30 minute cut, this was actually about a five minute cut. This was about a 15 minute cut. When I noticed it was cutting out and around, I was like, oh crap. So I had to stand here and hold it and make sure that this wasn't going to move. Otherwise the piece would have gone back and forth, back and forth. And then these would have been all screwed up. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this yucky tape picked off the back and then I'll be right back. Okay. Hey guys, we're back. So I have all of this pulled off of here, off of the bed. I want to show you a couple different ideas that I have. I'm going to swing the camera around just a little bit. Um, so we have the outside piece. Here's my thought with this. I have the cathedral piece. I'm going to layer these on here like this. So it gives it a dimensional look. And then what I'm thinking about doing is doing some type of circle and then a monogram with the last name because um, everybody loves customized things that they can give to their friends. So that is definitely an option. Or I can take that piece off entirely and I can put this backer on here that will look something like this. Oh, this piece has to look like a big piece of tape on it. Sorry, my hand was sticking to that. That stuff is so sticky. Um, Anyway, I, okay, so it could do something like this. So then that way you have this backer against the wall. If you like the other look, this backer would actually go against the, um, like the color of their wall if you just wanted something simple. But I would have to have something for the monogram to, I don't know. I think I'd have to look around. I think I'd have to play with it a little bit to see. Um, 
but I definitely like the idea of making these two different colors to make them pop. And I could even do, I guess I could do a circle around this and then a monogram. I just feel like it would just kind of like stick out. I don't know. Maybe that's just me in my own head. Sometimes I just overthink things and things should be a lot simpler than they are. But of course, that's not how I roll. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I've got going on for today. I'm going to work on a couple monograms and some circles. Try to work out with um, some last names. I even thought about working with my last name um, to see how that would look or even just cutting out the last name and then laying it across there, but I'm not really sure how that's gonna work because with the CNC, you are using router bits and router bits with really little things are, especially when you're trying to do a cut through, it's really tricky. So anyway, that's what I got for right now. So I want to show you what I just finished. I just finished this monogram. How cute is this? So I made a T obviously for Tucker. Um, this is three quarter inch wood. I am loving this little monogram. I just kind of designed this up and decided to see what it would cut out with. If any other C or C and Cers are following this, I actually used a quarter inch down cut bit. Um, and I cut the vectors on the outside of the T and just that's kind of what I did from that standpoint. Okay, serious business. Let's see how this all looks together with this beautiful monogram. All right, so a couple of things that I've been thinking about while I was designing this. This is all a very beautiful design, all put together. Um, but the backer, I need to plane. I need to plane this down because it is three quarter inch wood um, because these were all cut out of kind of the same piece of wood. So I would plane this down quite a bit, even to maybe a, like a quarter of an inch, just because it just is too thick when you put it all together. So when you put this backer on here, you could paint. Remember, I have a paint pretty business, so I have all the colors. I also have a paint chart if you want to look at colors versus um, staining. And then I have this Topper Cathedral that is also three quarters of an inch to match the monogram. So then that way it's not, the monogram isn't sticking out. Let's see, let's try to center this up. Okay, so yes, you can already see, you can see how thick it is. This is the piece I'm talking about making three quarters of an inch, or not three quarters of an inch, of a quarter of an inch thick. But this is, would be the final product of course, the T is on there. Um, and I don't think if you had the backer piece milled down, I don't think this is too bad of a depth off of like off of your wall. I might even mill it down a little bit more than that. And I might even take the cathedral arches down just as much. But I really I love the depth of the project. That's what really I really love about this. I like that the window arches are deep. How cute is this? This is, because I know somebody's gonna ask. Let me see. All right, this is about 22 and a half inches tall by nine and three quarters. So 22 and a half inches tall 
little under two feet by nine and three quarters long. And let's just see, it's about an inch and a half thick. Um, I would probably say maybe an inch and three quarters after I get the back done, just depending on how exact I can get the planing. Really, I'm not worried about that because um, it's just the backer. So anywho, that's what I have. I hope you guys love it. Let me know your comments, let me know your thoughts, and I could definitely see this being a paint party item that would be really fun to do at a paint party and get a custom item. I am loving this. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you like and follow, and I'll see you guys in the next one.